All right, uh, time to do the rivets. Nerve-wracking this because you could damage your paintwork. Oof, da. So right, hang on a second, I got a couple more in my hand. I'm just sticking in my mouth. Let's see how we go, huh? That's the worst bit when it bangs. You could skip across the paint. Excuse the funny talking, I have a rivet in my mouth. Give it one pinch. Now the killer. Hmm. Okay, and one more just for shits and giggles. Oh. There we go. All right, that's those done. A uh, couple more on the outside. We're good to go. All right, all the studs are in place now, across the top there. And the special one at the front. Yes, it looks at an angle because it's loose. So now I've got to put the chrome strip on, slip it onto that before I tighten up the nut on the inside. You want to see it? God damn it, you are so picky. Let me see if I can show you. Hang on, let me come around the other side. Otherwise you might see my belly and get excited. There it is. Okay, that's how it looks on this side. Oh boy. And oh, I've, I've had thoughts, you know, what it's like you lie in bed at night going, ooh, hmm, about this and do that. Well, I've got to put the door seals on. Um, can't put them on until I do the fur flex. Can't do that until I do, oh god, there's so many things in, and you gotta get, you gotta get your ducks in a row. Uh, but, my point is, which is where the fuck I was trying to go, um, that the hinges, I want them back where they are, the body shop lined them up, so somehow I've got to figure out how to drill or mark their position. Oh, and I tell you, these, these Jaguar uh, Mark II door hinges are a fucking pain in the ass for getting aligned. Okay, that's going to be another video. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to have to give this some, some thunking. I, w I was thinking of putting roller pins in you know, some very thin roller pins drilling holes. Uh, I don't think I can do it on that one because it's too fucking awkward. So that might just have to be a case of marking it. And the same there. The rear ones, hang on, we, 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 hang on, the brain cell's almost working. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, so I can do it on that, I can put in a roller pin. But I can't do it on that, can I? Fuck a doodle do. Hmm. All right. It's going to have to be market, suck it, and see. Hmm. Bollocks. Okay, we got to put this strip on now, as opposed to a strip off. This is the beast here. And uh, it's got a trimmed off edge, which goes up here. So let's see what we can do. We'll get it close there. And close up there. And let's see. 
And then we get our little persuader. Yeah, not the easiest things to do. You really need to see where the widdits are. There's one there. Oh, I don't like this. It still moves back and forth. I'll have to do something to prevent that. Oh, boy. This makes your bum twitch. Hear it? Oh dear. Well, there it is. It's on. Whoo! That's what I'd say. Oh, hang on. This, that, no, this is not. This is not good enough here. Yeah, I think we might have to get. Yeah, it's not biting on this last one here. Uh, that's okay. It's not a problem. Why isn't that a problem, Gary? Because I'm going to squirt some goop under there, push it down and leave it, and let it set. Yep, when it's in the right position. And I'll do that right now. And that gives me a little bit of more leeway up here. Next one is to put this strip on. We'll be back. So, the next piece to put on is here. Now, there is a slot here. No, not a slot, a slot. If I can take this piece of tape off, that's annoying me. You've got to make sure you slide it over. Hang on, let me back you up a bit. Slide it over there. Hopefully. You're going to have to look at my ear. Yeah, doesn't want to play nice, does it? Of course it doesn't. So, oh, there we go, I got it. All right, now, line it up with the handle. We are good. Oh, you can hear that, can't you? Bink, bink. Come on, bink, last bink. There we go. All right. So that is now on. Next, yeah, I'm going to keep moving you guys. If you don't like it, you can go fuck yourselves. Uh, right. Oh, let me bring you around here. Uh, oh, me gimbal got upset. Yeah. Well done, gimbal. So now all I've got to do is tighten up my nuts. And that strip is done. Okay, the uh, chrome strips are now on. Done up the nut there. This one's nice. It's as firm as it's gonna be. This one, wait for that glue to set there. Not a problem. And then I'll clean up the excess glue. And that's why I love using this goop. It's clear and you can just pick off the crap afterwards. Uh, gotta do the same on the other side. And then we're done. Uh, no, we're not, don't lie. <laughs> Got the gutter chrome to do. Oh shit, I've got to do all that again, haven't I? Oh well, get on with it. Yep, we are progressing. Progressing? Progressing? Progressing. Yeah, just try that one, shall we? Um, I've fitted the uh, plinth here, and it did have a rubber seal there. Um, and I started to glue it on and try and get it neat. And I wasn't happy with it. So, I right, fuck it, I'm going to take it off. Of course, when I took it off, it tore. So I threw it in the trash and thought, well, I'm going to put it on without it. I think it looks much better without that rubber, black rubber line, you know, here. Yeah. Hey, right, the badges, are, I'm slowly getting the badges on. Um, I've also added um, goop to the pinholes where they go through 
um, just to stop water getting in through those holes. It does mean I've got to do a little bit of cleanup, but that's okay. I can, I can live with that bit of cleanup. Um, as you saw, the rear lights are now in. Not sure if I mentioned that before, but oh well, never mind. Um, got the driver's door or the right hand door chrome on. And now what I've got to do is just do this chrome piece on the top here. Got the rivets on there ready. Just a matter of uh, putting the chrome on. And I'm um, wondering where the door frame is. Um, guys, where's the door frame? Um, hello? Oh dear, I think it got left at the body shop. I'll have to call them. Here we go again. Reattaching the chrome strip. Looks like a spine operation, doesn't it? Um, I've used goop on it again because I like it and I think it's good. Now, the chrome strip may be able to be held on by itself, but I'm not going to risk it. Get these clips. I call them bulldog clips. I don't know what you guys call them over here in America. Um, anyway, they are like five bucks for 15. I'll leave that until tomorrow morning and I will take that off, uh, take the clips off. Uh, then attach the piece here and then put that chrome strip back on. Yes, the chrome strip that goes here, which is currently lying there having a nap. Uh, so I'll do that tomorrow, get that piece of chrome back on. Then the only thing I have to do is to put the rear bumper back on, but I've got to do the bumper seal first before I get into that. Now, uh, something I, I want to mention here, and I'm going to do it while we're looking at this, is that I've just dealt with a, a customer. He went to one of these fast lubrication places. You know, we can do your fucking oil change in five minutes. Well, yeah, maybe they can change the oil in five minutes. They don't change the filter. And with this particular customer of mine, he was leaking oil profusely from the drain plug. They didn't touch the drain plug. Had they, they might have noticed that the drain plug seal, gasket, washer was fucking rock hard. Oil was pissing out of it. Lucky he didn't blow up his fucking engine. Do not go to these fast, super duper oil places. They are not good for you or your car. Go to a proper mechanic if you value your car. <laughs>